coming to the operations room at the Rescue Coordination Centre. Let's go and see what's going on and meet Sam. Hey, Sam. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the ops room. We're lucky enough to have an insight into the Ops Centre here at the Rescue Coordination Centre. And this is Sam, who works in the Ops Centre. So Sam, the Rescue Coordination Centre, what happens here? Uh, so here we coordinate search and rescue operations um, for a really big area. We coordinate operations for aviation, so aircraft, maritime, so ships and boats, uh, and land, so people who are tramping or hunting uh, out in the hills. Um, we have a, a very large area that um, goes all the way up to the equator, including all, some of the Pacific Islands, uh, and all the way down to the South Pole, um, and halfway to Chile and halfway to Australia. So you can see it's a very large region that we um, coordinate rescue missions in. That is a huge area. So land, sea and air, maps must be pretty useful for all of that. Yeah, so we use, we use a lot of maps for our operations. We have them all electronically here on Google Earth and we have them all in paper copies on a chart table in case this doesn't work. So I'll run through some examples uh, that we use. Um, so we have them all as digital, we can just turn on and off the layers for the areas that we want. So here we've got a maritime chart for up in Cape Reania. Um, so we can put that on Google Earth. And here we have uh, one type of aviation um, chart. So this is called an ENC chart, and this is where aircraft will do all their routing. So if we have a missing aircraft, we can use this to see how they've planned their route. Um, we have another type of aeronautical chart here. Um, and this shows all the different uh, airspace layers and different reporting points and things like that. Uh, and then we also use uh, Topo 50 charts. So we can turn on that layer and that just fills out for the whole of New Zealand in one go. So you even use the likes of, of Google Earth and we had a look at, at Topo Maps and how useful they are yesterday. So you have to coordinate lots of different groups of people when you're actually um, organising a rescue. How do you do that? Yeah, so if we have a, a rescue somewhere, we're the people in the operations room coordinating uh, that rescue, we're not the people going out in the field. Um, and that can be because there's, there's many different rescues happening at once. Um, so we have to see what the, the best um, people are that are closest, uh, that can assist with that particular incident. So for that we have um, this system here which has all the different resources in New Zealand. Um, and all the different colours are different types of resources. So we have uh, helicopters, we have fixed wing aircraft, coast guard teams, land side teams, uh, surf life saving clubs. So we can see them all here, we can see what's closest, what capabilities they have, and we can choose which ones we want to help us. Awesome, such a, a lot going on, a lot to coordinate um, here in the Ops Centre for people that get out and do the rescue on the ground. And next we're going to have a look at how you would actually do a rescue if someone set a beacon off. But yeah. thanks Sam, kia ora. <laughs> thanks.